Welcome to Cake Members video tutorial. Today I will be giving you a quick overview of the many features of the Class Kiosk. Class Kiosk is an innovative classroom management application that is designed specifically for the iPad. Class Kiosk will assist your teachers with their daily tasks, help file reports, and even keep track of children logs. You can truly have real-time updates with the Class Kiosk being used to manage all of your classrooms. To grant yourself or other teachers access to the Class Kiosk, you will have to watch our Grant Access to Kiosk video tutorial. Also, Class Kiosk will require you to already link up your facility and have children enrolled into the facility. Let's start off by downloading the Class Kiosk app from the App Store. Open up the App Store and click on the magnifying glass here at the top right corner. Type in Cake Class Kiosk, click search, and there it is, and then install. After the installation is complete, go ahead and tap on the Class Kiosk app. This is our primary login screen where you have to enter in your school ID or cake ID and password. If you would like to save this login information, add a nickname and tap yes and save the login information, then click login. Here is the pin number login screen where your teachers will input their four digit pin code to access the class kiosk. After entering the four digit code, tap enter. And as you can see, these children shown here are all currently signed in right now at my facility. Several things to note is the time here. The teacher's first name is shown here, and all of the classrooms are neatly displayed in an organized fashion down below. This teacher, Jason, is assigned to the preschool classroom, so let's go ahead and go to that classroom. All the children here are assigned to the preschool classroom. If you would like to post an update, tap on active. A total of 12 options will appear. Let's go through each one. Potty covers all of the bowel movements a child would have and if they voided or not. You can also select options quickly after your assessment and then add a comment if necessary. Let's quickly do this for the rest of the children and voila, you have just posted your first update. Pretty fast, huh? Let's do more. Next is the activities. You can quickly tap what the child is doing whether it be watching TV, crawling, or playing with others. More options are available if you scroll down on the list by using one finger and dragging down. Next is the nutrition. Just quickly tap on what the child drank or ate and the quantity, then click update. Behaviors is very straightforward and quick to submit. Under sleep is an actual timer, so when the child begins nap time, just go ahead and start the timer. You can come back to this activity later on to stop the timer, and the time and duration will be recorded and updated. Let's move on to the next one. Diapers are very important. You can record what was assessed after changing a diaper, like quantity, consistency, and color. Next is the bottle's fed. Knowing when a bottle is fed to an infant is crucial along with the quantity. Tap update when you are done. Next is medication. Tap on the quantity amount either in ounces or millimeters and as the note we would recommend putting in the medication name. Body checks are great for initial assessments of a child to make sure no injuries are unaccounted for. If an injury is assessed, tap fail and pinpoint on a child where the location is, what type it is, and the severity. Tapping on the camera will allow you to take a picture of the area for documentation purposes. The incident is very similar to the body check. Just tap fail and submit the injury description. Health covers many of the symptoms of a disease process or something irregular to a child's health. These could be early indicators and even a preventative measure for some illnesses. Lastly is the messages and notes. If for example Maggie needs a change of clothes, you can tap on it and a generated message will appear. This message is intended for the parents of the child and will be sent to the email and web portal. You can also add additional items by tapping on them and it will automatically add to the message. Editing the message manually is also possible by tapping on the message itself. 
Maggie also needs her teddy bear for nap time. So let's go ahead and add that in. Once you are done, click on update and we are done. As you have seen, submitting daily updates is incredibly easy and seamless. Not only will you have great documentation of your activities with children, you will not sacrifice any quality time spent away from them filling out a real daily report. Daily reports should be fast and easy, and that is what Class Kiosk is, and I am sure your parents will love it too. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact our support team, and they will respond within 24 business hours. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.